So it appears that the situation between Nia Long and Ayami Ayudoka is worse than we initially believe. Nia is sick and tired of his behaviour and has now come forward to reveal how much she has been suffering in silence. She is accusing him of being a deadbeat father to their son and of trying to capitalise on their breakup scandal. She has even taken him to court and is suing him. Let's break it down. We all know that Nia is not the kind of person who looks for love. Not only did Nia expose Iamei for being a good-for-nothing father, but she also claimed that she has been the sole provider for their son Kaz ever since she broke up with email last year over the them. Cheating scandal, and honestly, I don't think anyone can blame her for breaking up with Iamei, because the cheating scandal was humiliating for her and her son, especially when we found out that he did. Nothing to protect Maya or even prepare her for the scandal in case you forgot even before the cheating scandal. L became public IME. I had already been under investigation by the Boston Celtics for weeks for sneaking around with a member of staff, and even though I am EI, I knew that he was being investigated, he didn't say anything to Nia, and he even let her move her entire life from LA to Boston because she wanted their family to finally be together in the same place he kept her in the dark about. And some sources say he only told her about the investigation the night before the Boston Celtics were to make the e announcement that he had been suspended because of the affair, and there are some sources who even say that Nia found out about Aimee's affair, along with the rest of the world the Celtics were the ones who made the entire affair public when they released a statement saying the Boston Celtics announced today that the team has suspended head coach Iemi Ayudoka for the 2022-23 season for violations of team policies, a decision about his future with the Celtics beyond the season, a decision on the bank, will be made at a later time. Even worse, sources revealed that the affair was not a one-time thing because he had been warned so many times, but he didn't listen. An insider also claimed on Twitter that IMII Udoka had relationships with not one but two staff members, one of whom had all social media accounts deleted and the other had comments on Instagram. Disabled, both were married and one of them was actually wed to a senior vice president and Celtics organisation. At least once, the Celtics advised IMEI Udoka to stop but he disregarded their counsel. The result was a complex scenario that quickly turned into a controversy. In a statement issued in response to the team's decision, IMIA expressed regret for disappointing the team's players, fans, and the entire Celtics organisation, as well as his family. He added that out of respect for everyone involved, he would make no further comments. Neil was put in a very embarrassing situation and she released a statement via TMZ that said the outpouring of love and support from family friends and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. I ask that my privacy be respected as I process the recent events above all. I am a mother and will continue to focus on my children. Now there were a lot of comments among fans about how badly the Celtics handled the situation and how they should have protected Nia better, especially since. Uh, she has a very young son with IMEI who also had to deal with the controversy surrounding his dad so publicly that has covered professional sports for 30 years, has covered the NBR for. Over a quarter century, needless to say, I know of many instances where individuals have had situations occur within the organisation, and it was never publicised, it was never a press conference it was. Never anything that was broadcast publicly about it, but suddenly in this situation it was if I'm her I'm furious for. A multitude of reasons obviously in an interview. Nia revealed that she also believed that the Celtics should have handled things better, 
and not put her in a messy situation, he was the first one to. Say it? Literally 101 I concur and believe that managing well has been tremendously challenging for me. The last straw, according to sports expert Khalid Abdullah, was the fact that I am E. I had an affair with the wife of a high-ranking official in the club, which is why the Celtics made such a huge deal out of the incident. The other woman is already married, and her spouse discovered them. Husband went to the team, and they signed paperwork stating that it was consensual, which should have been it, however. She later claimed that Udoka was inappropriate to her before they hooked up. The team told him to calm down, but he persisted, and then he slept with a Celtics minority owner's wife. This was too much for the team, and they suspended email, however, since it is the off-season, they have more time to look into what else he did. This, my son's reaction when the Boston Celtics organization decided to make a very private situation public was heartbreaking, and it still is. No one from the Celtics organization has even called to check on me or my children, which is very disappointing. Additionally, there were some concerns about how Naya would handle the situation, such as whether she was going to be assertive or not. Nia is a very private person, and she tried to move away from the drama as fast as possible, so we didn't have much detail on how they were moving forward and what their co-parenting relationship was. Like, I guess we all kind of assumed that they would work things out amicably and manage to stay on decent terms because of their son well, it turns out that we might have been too optimistic about. That because Nia has taken email to court filing for sole custody of their son Cass, not just that, but a co. Rain to court documents, she also claimed that respondent is the children's parent and has failed to support the children. What this means is that she has been the only provider for their son since. She broke up with IMEI and he has been pretty much absent from their life. And it's not like email is broke and can't afford to pay child support because because he recently got another job as the head coach of the Houston Rockets. And what's more, he brought up the cheating scandal when he announced his new appointment saying I released a statement months ago when everything happened and apologised to a lot of people for the tough position I put them in. I spent this last off season working on myself in a lot of different ways improving in areas and it gave me a chance to sit back reflect and grow well, it looks like his growth has no effect on his family life because he is still not doing his job. As a father and before it all tried to spend the narrative that Nia is a jealous baby mama, she is not I. Mean she isn't even trying to keep their son away from eBay because, according to court documents, she asked that email get visitation rights as much as he wants sure she is asking for full physical and legal custody, but she also said that she wants their son to have a great relationship with his father. It's just sad that things got this messy, but people are convinced that Nia is doing the best. For herself and her son and fans left comment dragging email saying, I am me. I seems to be the bitter one in his situation shameful that Nia left him and he turned his back on his child may everything work out for Nia and her son's benefit. Parents typically leave their children alone after a divorce so she is acting appropriately in this case. I'm sure he wants to act foolish because she moved on and is protecting her child and herself but I'm curious about your thoughts on this drama. Do you think that Nia is acting appropriately by filing for custody or do you think that she should have chosen joint custody instead?